Okay, okay. Now, today, 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 you guys saw the thumbnail, you guys saw the title. I have been kind of dreading this video because I really did want to make it because I hate this system a lot, in my opinion. I, I might, I'm just going to say it. I think it's really bad. You may disagree with me. You may not. Even though this video, you know, even though we're like two, three days into the game, um, I just don't like the system at all, in my opinion. I... Compared to a lot of gacha games, they're a ton better than this one when it comes to gears and stuff. But feel free to disagree with me. If you do, let me know. Let me know why. Um, but today, I'm going to be walking through gear. I'm going to be showing you guys everything you need to know about gear. How it works. Where you guys can go farm the stuff. All that. So it may be a lengthy one. So if you guys are brand new, sub. Go grab a snack. Go grab some water. Come back. And we... You're going to watch me lose my voice, alright? So... <laughs> Today, gear. Like I said, gear, gear, gear. Um, so when it comes to the gear system, okay, you are able to talk to Vanessa and unlock everything you need to fully do regarding gear-wise around Chapter 3. So once you get to Chapter 3, you then are able to talk to Vanessa and then really, really, really get grinding on your gear. So that is going to be the first step, okay? Now, a lot of you guys know where to go farm gear. You go over here, you go to your Season 1, you go click here, and then bam, gear, okay? Now, when it comes to gear, there are a lot, and I mean a lot of different effects um, when it comes to the gear system. This first one, this red one, is going to be attack, defense, and then I believe speed. So, it is all going to be kind of like, I wouldn't say all offense related, but you have attack, defense, and then speed. These are the three stats that you are able to go for regarding uh, the first tab. The second tab, however, is going to be HP, accuracy, and then crit rate. So, pretty much all that stuff. And then the last one is going to be crit damage, and then penetration, and then I believe this is penetration, and then the last one is going to be, gotta get, let it load up real quick, um, defense break, or guard break or something. It's one of those. But yeah, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7, 8, right? Yeah, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6, 7, 8. Crap. So you have 8 different types of gear in which you can farm, and they all play different roles for your units. Now, when it comes to attaching gear onto your units, okay, you're going to want to go over here, go to your mages. As you can see, I'm going to be showcasing, I'm going to be showing you guys my Jack, my Lotus, my Noel, and then Mimosa because I have literally not touched any of these units ever since I got these four. So when it comes to gear, here is what my gear is looking like, okay? I am free to play. I am free to play, meaning that I have not put a single penny into the game. I have not bought any bundles that will give me an advantage. I have not bought any of that. I haven't bought gear enchantment. I haven't... I literally have spent zero dollars on the game. So, I am around chapter three or so, so far, and this is the gear I've been working with. Actually, this is my best gear set. All my other units have worse gear than my Jack, and my Jack is my main damage dealer. Now, you guys can see that I have some effects going on over here. When it comes to gear, if you play Green Cross, you are very, very familiar with this. If you attach four pieces of the same gear, you will get a added bonus effect. If you attach two pieces of gear, you will get a small bonus and stuff. So, they make it to where you can kind of do... Let's see, I have... You can have a main of four... Or you can have two, 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 okay? You can have, like, you know, um, a set of two, a set of two, a set of two, and a set of two. Or you can have a, like a whole four set, two and two. And, you know, they obviously want you to break it down however you can, but pretty much that is how the gear is working. Now, with my attack gear set, I have a four set. So, my four set bonus is going to allow me to get an additional 10% damage increase, which is pretty nice. And then, for the if I attach a two-piece, then I get... Um, Magic attack plus 220, and then physical attack plus 220, I do not get the 10% damage increase. And then when it comes to crit, crit rate, it's both going to be different. You know, if you have a full set of crit, then, you know, you get like a, what is this one? I believe you get a guaranteed crit, or you get two turns 10% rate, uh, crit rate increase, which is pretty nice. And then crit damage is other stuff. So you guys pretty much get the whole point when it comes to gear and all. Now, once you are farming up gear, okay, once you're, once you start farming up gear, it's tough, I'm not gonna lie, it is very very tough, and I do understand that gear isn't meant to be something that is, you know, worked on day one and stuff, they obviously want you to play through the game, you know, it is gonna be challenging, it is gonna be tough, I understand, but I do think they need to revamp the gears, because it is 
super duper 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 tough to get now i have been farming gear for the past few hours now and i have been farming this stage okay i've been farming this stage or is it this one no i've been farming this one okay 86,500 power level is the required power level yes i can beat it you know i don't have any problem doing so but the drop rates are bad they are really really bad when it comes to the drop rates i have only been getting one single gear drop per run one only one i have not gotten two i've not gotten three i've only gotten one and most of the times i have only gotten an sr now i do understand because you know this is this is like the first appearance of a ur uh gear set for me and obviously as you go higher and higher higher you get to lr gear <laughs> which is going to be pretty tough to beat so you know they obviously want you to take your time when building your gear set which is understandable but i do think that they you know need to increase the drop rates a little bit for gear just because like you know when you when you when you go grind your gear it's not a guarantee that you're gonna get the subset that you want you know it may not have the highest number and stuff so i feel like they should make it to where gears are dropped a little bit better um you know this is something that i didn't like in the beta as well because it just took forever to get gears and like obviously you can't buy them from shops and stuff but it may not be the you know the right gear that you're looking for so that is something i don't like about the gear system um <laughs> moving on to my next complaint it's gonna be this okay so when you talk to vanessa when you talk to vanessa over here around chapter three or so you're gonna be met with these three little tabs now each tab does something different the first tab at first i was very confused because i don't remember seeing this in the beta i could be wrong maybe it was here but i'm not sure but this is kind of where you can break down or exchange your gear into a better one if that makes sense so this is going to be for you know all gear pieces this is going to be uh, specifically for necklaces this one's going to be specifically for rings and then earrings this one's going to be you know you guys to get earrings necklaces or rings you know you pretty much get the idea so if i were to go over here right you guys can see ssr ur and lr so there's you know you can't get sr or rare gear from here which obviously you wouldn't want to you want to get better ones you come over here you use your farmed up gear that you're not using and you go put them into exchange now it takes a lot it takes a lot um now if you do put an ssr gear i think it's like slightly higher but it's nothing crazy once you get to the ssr stage i believe you have a x percentage of being able to then craft that gear into an ssr i don't think it's guaranteed i simply just think that you know you have a set chance of being able to now once you this is like for like you know whales or like people who've been playing the game for a very long time once you're able to start getting lr gears and you know you farm a whole bunch you know, you realize you don't need them because you can only add in 10 pieces at a time you can only add in 10 pieces at a time and if you put in lr gear you're gonna be guaranteed lr gear so if you put in 10 lr pieces you're gonna be getting you're gonna get a guaranteed lr piece now we come over here I believe okay I'm not sure what these are yet um, I haven't figured it out because I had not seen any images in game regarding these but I want to say these had to do with the typings or subsets I'm not too sure which one it is but you can then go for a certain piece or a certain sub subset that you want to go for and get that piece so for example this is going to be a necklace piece I want to go for a LR necklace piece and then I can potentially like I said I don't fully know but you could go for a necklace you know substat um, a necklace gear piece was a you know chosen substat or typing so that's what I'm assuming I don't know 100% if anyone does know this let me know uh, because I've not found any in game screenshots or anything related to these pictures so that is the first tab when it comes to the second tab it is going to be gear breakdown now with this gear system you can break down your gear to get these materials these materials are going to be needed for the last tab which i'm about to show y'all so you break down your gear and then you have a possibility of being able to get um you know these blue you know blue powder or the red powder it is going to correlate to your gear enhancement which i'm about to show you guys down here it can tell you you know you can auto add gear whichever ones you want to and stuff like that so very simple um but the whole point behind this whole gear system is that they want you to farm gear like crazy they want you to spend a lot of your stamina to farm gear and the only thing that I, like the, the main thing i don't like about it is the fact that you're not getting a lot per run that's the only thing i like like i don't like if you were to get a lot of gear like drops per run then i wouldn't mind it because it, it makes up for it because then you can break it down 
you know, for other gears, for materials, etc, etc. But I was farming for hours. In every single run, I only got one gear drop, dude. Like, it sucked. But moving on to the third tab. The third tab is where these powder materials come into hand. So moving on to the third tab. This is where the powders are going to come into place. Now, when you're, you know, obviously they're going to show you tutorial for when you need to level up gear, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. But over here is where you can exchange these powders into gears, um, gear enhancement crystals. So you would need 30 of these. Obviously, I don't have enough at the moment because I've been breaking down gear all day and trying to grind for it, which I've barely gotten any. It sucks. I don't like it, but it is what it is. You break down your gear. You get your gear enhancement crystals. And over here, if you play Grand Cross, you already know what this is. This is going to be a success rate. So you have a set success, set success rate for being able to get this or, you know, the second version, the upgraded version of it, uh, which is going to be for higher rarity gears. So we go back. We go over to our units. We go over to Jack, right? Uh, I'm just going to click on this one. We go over here. We click here. Click Enhance. Bam! These are where you get these, okay? These are where you get these, and you need these to level up your gears to plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. And every time you use one of these crystals, you have a set percentage of success rate. So right now, you know, to go from 0 to 1, you have 100% guarantee to go from 1 to 2. You have an 83% chance to go from, you know, 2 to 3, so on and so forth. As you get higher, the percentage is going to be lower. The thing I don't like is that these are hard to get. There, is, there really isn't, like, a set place that you can farm these besides, like, the special events. And they're not even here every single day either. So, like I said, man, there is just a lot of stuff that they are limiting you by when it comes to gear. Like, you have to have certain days, or either that, you have to spend money. So... I'm slowly starting to see the pay to win aspect for Black Clover Mobile. Yes, it is extremely free, free to play friendly, don't get me wrong, but I'm just seeing it how, how I, you know, how I see it and I'm starting to see the pay to win aspect for this game slowly but surely. Um so I don't like that because, you know, if we go over to our event section over here, you know, you can't get though, you can't get those crystals from here and you can't get them from, you know, here or here either, okay? Um, and speaking, there's still one more aspect of gear which I haven't even told y'all about, which is going to be these. And you can't even access these until, you know, like chapter 3, episode 5. So if we go over here, click the gear. The first tab is going to be for you to enchant, which is enhance your gear. The second one is going to be for your substats. This is going to allow you to change your substats to upgrade it to a higher percentage or a higher number. Um, and these you can't get until you complete chapter 3, episode 5, I believe. So if I go over here, go here. Yeah, these. You need these. So I need to complete chapter 3, episode 3. Like I said, they they want you to really take your time with this, which I don't mind. But I just hope that when, in doing so, once you unlock it, they reward you by, you know, dropping a decent amount as you, you know, complete higher levels. I would say I'm on level 8, dude. I'm on level 8, so I feel like I should be getting at least maybe like a minimum of 2 drops per run. But instead, the game is like, no, we're good, man. You know, you just just get only 1 drop per run, and most of the time you're going to be getting an SR. So that is something I don't like. I mean, I understand that they want to, you know, make it to where, you know, you take your time, you're slow with gear, and, you know, you can't max it out unless you're spending money, which is understandable. But I just want them to fix it to where it's... You have a better chance of getting gears, you have more ways than just one to get the materials needed to get your gears. Um, and uh, like, even if you want to make them like shop exclusive, which I don't mind, then yeah, do it. But do it to where, you know, it's fair, we can farm it and it's not, you know, based on certain days, it's not based on, you know, um, the type of gear you break down and stuff. So, but when it comes to the three tasks, talking to Vanessa, these are the three tabs of what they do. If you have any questions, let me know. Drop in the comment section below. If we go over here, um, we go over here to this guy. I completely forgot your name. These are where you can break down your skill cards. You break down your skill cards, you get these crystals. Um, let's see. Ooh, oh, so if you give SR ones, wow, you actually get these. That's insane. Okay, um, but yeah, so I'm just going to break down this one, okay? Break down. I get three to five pieces. I get three. These are not meant to enhance your gear, by the way. You exchange these in the shop, which is here. You go over to shop. You go down here. Where is it? You go here. You go here. So I have 38 of these. These are where you can get skill pages. Um, nothing equipment related, but that's just something I want to let y'all know. 
And then here, I believe this is going to be raid, but for now we can't access this, so I don't know what they are planning with this currency at least. But I mean, you can't get a decent amount and it seems like there are going to be no caps. Once they unlock this, then yes, it is going to be, you know, working on Gears is going to be a lot easier. But for now, I haven't seen any event. I haven't seen raids yet. So I assume, you know, maybe, maybe they'll drop raids on weekends. And right now it is not, it is only a weekday. So, you know, potentially there is still hope for gear. But as of right now, when I'm recording this video, I don't see any way for us to get those, get those materials. But yeah, that, that should be everything related to gear. I don't think Gray has anything you know for us regarding gear wise uh unless i am wrong oh never mind there is i forgot <laughs> so just like how grand cross ha allows you to um not transfer but what is it um not divert oh my god i'm such a loss for words. i'm so sorry but just like how grand cross oh, exchange so just like how grand cross you can exchange one material for another for like a rarity but you need a certain amount of it this is very similar so if you wanted to get this purple crystal to upgrade i believe your lr gear you would need to exchange 3ds and then these materials obviously are going to be needed for your substats so yeah i know i i know i know there is a lot into gear and they really like i when i say really i i emphasize heavily on it they really want you to work slowly on your gear because they know it's going to take you a very very long time and stuff um but i i really do think that gear is going to be something that's going to affect you know you and your opponent in pvp it's going to be the difference because gear is so important dude you have crit damage crit rate you have you know status effects which can be buffed up uh, you know gear is super important late game dude i'm gonna say it right now I, I really think it's important late game so i just hope that they fix it i'm not the biggest fan of the gear system because i know i know for a fact dude if you are free to play it is going to take you a fat minute it is going to take you a fat minute to work on gear and it affects your CC a lot. Like it affects your combat power by a ton. So um, I, I know because in the beta, when I got my, my, when I had LR gear on, like I was skyrocketing numbers. So it makes a world of difference, dude. It really does. And I know LR gear, they, dude, in order for you to take on LR gear, you have to be a you have to be a level of, let's see, the minimum is 178,000, dude. 178,000, yes. It may not seem like a lot, or I mean, it may seem like a lot, but I mean, we'll get there. We'll get there for sure. I mean, you know, as we work on our units and stuff. But man, I just really hope they. I feel like they should have gotten rid of the SSR and just kept the UR and LR gear. So that way, every single time you do this run, because they keep it the same even at the highest one, at level 15 with the max one, they even keep SSRs in here. They should have taken rid of the SSRs, and you're only allowed to get UR or LR gear. I feel like that would have been great. Because I guarantee you, when you do this run, I pro I'm, I can almost put my life, I can almost put my account on it, okay? I can almost put my account on it that you're probably just going to end up getting SSR or UR gear. You're rarely going to be getting LR gear because they don't show you the drop rates for these, just FYI. So, yeah, not the biggest fan of the gear system and how it's working, drop rates and all. I, I just think that it needs, you know, a revamp or something, but... Yeah, that is Gears. If there's anything you guys, you know, want me to, you know, go there further into, let me know. But I think I covered all bases when it comes to the gear system. Um, where to farm it, where you can get the resources, where, you know, you go upgrade it, where you go, you know, do stuff for substats. So that should be everything. That should be everything. Um, and then when it comes to these, I don't know what these do. I don't know what these do. Oh, never mind. I do know what these do. These are going to be for your earrings, your necklace, and your ring pieces. I have not gotten here yet, so I can't tell you. Um, I don't know how far you need to be in the story, but it is going to. these three are going to correlate to this first tab with Vanessa. So I think, yeah, these, yeah, so those three boxes you saw earlier, they are going to correlate to these and these substats or these, you know, items. Um, these were not in the beta. These, yeah, this is all completely brand new stuff. So I will not be able to tell you, but yeah, those three boxes above your gear, um, I do not know because I have not unlocked it yet. Actually, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see. Hold on. Let me go back because I think it said you have to be LR. Uh, let me see. One second. Yeah. Oh, accessories. Accessories slots are unlocked when reach LR rarities. So once you reach LR rarities, I will do a separate video for these. But for now um yeah that that is gear so 
Once we reach our unit to LR, which I should be able to today, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, I will then do a video over accessory gear, accessories, okay? I'm in it there. Y'all take care of a good one. Let me know your thoughts over the gear system. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What changes do you want to be made? Let me know. Let me know. I'm probably going to do a like a community video of what things you guys want to see be changed or fixed. Um, I already know. This is number one, okay? I know. Y'all don't have to tell me. But <laughs> I'm in it there. Y'all take care. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button. It would really help me out. And uh, yeah. Share the video if you guys enjoyed it and uh, you think your friends would like it as well, alright? Take care, peace, Anthony.